them, please. Seriously, that's enough. <laughs> uh, hey, Cavs. I'm Elizabeth Campos. <laughs> and I'm Brian Felm. Welcome back to KCAV, all you old. And new Cavaliers. Good luck, everyone, because there is no turning back now. <laughs> Guys, we're just kidding. High school is not that bad, especially when you go to Cleveland. I mean, we have us. Obviously, but we also have our amazing live audience, Mr. Steen Caps Class. Wow. Wow, I felt that love. That's great. <laughs> they were giving off some amazing vibes. <laughs> yeah, they sure are, which brings me to our first topic of tonight, giving back to your community. You mean like Key Club, right? That is exactly what I meant by my vague statement. Yeah, Key Club is one of the biggest clubs at the land and all over the world. They do awesome community service, like me. <laughs> well, that's true, but if you haven't already turned off your TV or stopped paying attention like you normally do, then watch this Key Club promo. My name is Jared Now, and I serve as the Key Club president at Cleveland for the 2015-2016 term. Key Club is the largest student-led volunteer organization in the entire world, and our main goal is to connect students with volunteer opportunities that are both engaging and entertaining. Key Club is really the only one that helps students find a family and a lot of best friends that they can really call their own. My name is Amber Quinn. I am Division 25B's news editor. When you join Key Club, you're not only joining an organization, you're joining a family. I'm Monique Basto and I'm tech editor of Cleveland Key Club. I joined Key Club because I wanted to to have an experience in my life to do community service, they meet at E10 every Thursday during lunch. Not only do I want you to join Key Club, but Kenny does too. That was great, Jared. Are you okay, Brian? I'm just gonna miss all of the seniors, you know? It's the beginning of the school year. We still have senior news. So let's go to Marvin Chowdhury with senior news. Thank you, Brian and Elizabeth, for having me on your show tonight. Hello, Cavaliers. I'm Marvin Chowdhury here with your senior news. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. That's right, seniors. Senior barbecue is here. The event will be tomorrow at Vassa Park, September 26th, and the park will open at 11.30 a.m. and close at 4.30 p.m. The park will close at noon for registration. All explorers must abide by the rules of the jungle, which means all CHS, CHS rules apply, no outside food or drinks, bags will be searched at the entrance, and you must wear school-appropriate attire. If you have any un unclear detentions, you must clear them before attending. Seniors, movie morning is coming up. The package holders, you can buy your tickets during the second package payment, which will be October 6th to 8th. Non-package holders, you may purchase your tickets for $15 on September 30th and October 1st and H18 during nutrition only. Finally, class of 2016, your senior ballots are in. Your class name will be, can I get a drum roll please? The Ascendants those who rise in power and influence. Your class motto will be, take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey by Michael Josephson. Your class song will be, I lived by one republic, and your class sweatshirt will be a black hoodie and will be available on the CHS website for future reference. Those are all your senior announcements for today, and now back to the hosts. Marvin is a very smart guy. Yeah, but I think all seniors are just packed with knowledge. So much experience and so much knowledge. You know, I wish I had their advice when I was a freshman. I really do too. I mean, same. So let's go to this senior advice clip. State your name. Chudi Mbanafo. Mark Mitra. Haley Serna. Maggie Chen. Kambali Wanyamu. Rosa Castellanos. And I'm a senior. So what do you want? Mm -hmm. 
There's one thing I would tell a freshman me is uh, if there's something happening on the quad, you should be there. Surround yourselves with a lot of good people. One piece of advice, it would probably be not to party. Well, at least not all the time. Take a lot of pictures. I realize that it can be kind of embarrassing in certain situations, but when you're looking back on this in like 10 years from now, you're gonna wanna remember these times. Make sure you know all the personnel on campus and use all your resources like the college office and your counselors. I'm a sophomore. Get out of here! Don't think you're special. You're not. You have three years to figure that out, so you should do it quickly. <laughs> that was beautiful. Until you ruined it. Sophomores have dreams too, okay? Like? Like discovering new clubs at the land. Well, there are a lot of them, so we should go to Rosa with Club News. Hey guys, it's Rosa Castellanos here with your club news. If you're interested in making a change by making films with students from all over the world, make sure to visit Time Club. They meet on Thursdays at lunch in the Media Academy. And even though it's the beginning of the year, now is the time to get involved, especially in your class councils. They all meet on Tuesdays, juniors in K2 and sophomores in GPLR near the small gym. That's it for me, but now let's go back to your hosts. Ah, you know, that club news was ballin'. You know what else is ballin'? Our amazing sports teams. Sometimes, I wish I could play sports. Why can't you? Well, I was five. I started to surf. And I was getting pretty good at it, too. And, you know, I was mentored by Lilo and Stitch. And I won awards and medals until one day, I was going out into the water. The day was shining and the surf was high. I was about to ride the biggest wave that ever hit Kansas. Hold up. Kansas doesn't have an ocean. Quite Elizabeth, I am not done yet. <sighs> I was just swimming towards the ocean into the sunny skies, faded to gray. And then Sharknado swept me up and bit my leg. <laughs> uh. I can see your legs. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> super lazy. Well, it's a good thing our football team is nothing like you. Otherwise, we'd never have won the Reseda Cup two weeks ago. I know, right? But football isn't the only sport at the land. Right, but just in case our new Cavs don't know that, let's have Kimberly illuminate them with sports news. Good morning, Cavaliers. I'm Kimberly Venegas with Sports News. Congratulations to our girls' golf team for beating Chatsworth and staying undefeated. Also, don't forget, Cavs, there is a home volleyball game next Tuesday against Birmingham. JV starts at 2.30 and Varsity starts at 4.30, so make sure you go out and support. Also, congratulations to our boys' Varsity football team for winning the Reseda Golden Cup and being 3-0 and, oh and undefeated. Now let's check out this football highlight. Whoa, we have so many sports at the land. Yeah, but our athletes aren't just pretty faces. They're really smart, too. <laughs> and smart enough to get athletic scholarships. Exactly, but you don't have to be an athlete to go to college. <laughs> True. So let's see what Tammy has to say about college with some college news. Hey Cavaliers, this is Tammy Rasmikerisak here with your college news. There will be many colleges coming to the land. Today we have University of Colorado, which will be here at 10 a.m. And on September 30th, 
Mitt College will be here at 7.30 p.m. A reminder to those taking the PSAT. The PSAT is October 14th, and the last day to sign up is October 1st. Those that are on the free or reduced lunch program pay pay at the college office for $5 with Ms. Drell, and other students will pay $15 at the college office. On a lighter topic, College Fest is... Is this Saturday, September 26th at Valley College from 9 a.m. to noon? There will be more than 100 colleges to help you with your college process. There will also be a free barbecue, free food. Who doesn't want to go? Now back to the host. Brian, aren't you excited? You're a sophomore. I really am, but I'm not excited as you to be a junior. But that's not the only reason I'm excited. I mean, this year is going to be so turns. I'm so hyped for everything happening this year, like homecoming game, parade, the dungeon. Like, wow, we have so much going on. That's why it's super important to listen up for announcements, deadlines, and never be late. Yes, never be late. Unless you're Alana with late breaking news. Hi Cavaliers, it's Alana Reeves with your late breaking news. Freshmen, do you care about who your class president is going to be? If you do, go to the student store at Nutrition and Lunch today, but bring your Cleveland ID so you can vote. Also, juniors, you should sign up for your PSATs, especially since there's a new one this March. Go to Ms. Strell's if you're on free reduced lunch for $5. If you're not, it's $15 in the student store. Now back to the hosts. The thought of what comes ahead makes me feel so great. The future is bright for Cleveland, Elizabeth. We have such amazing, amazing teachers and staff, and they always make sure that our students stay happy. I know I'm happy. You know what makes me happy? Birthday <laughs> shout-outs! Shout You're so lame. <laughs> Happy birthday, Alia, my birthday twin. Hashtag birthday twin for life. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jenna from the KCAP fam. Happy birthday, Edensia from Jonas. <laughs> Happy birthday to Julio Oriano from eSports. <laughs> Happy quince to Daniela Martinez from Rosa Castellanos. Well, Cavs, it's just the beginning of an amazing year. Class of 2016, get your game on. Class of 2019, welcome to the land. Catch us next week. Same time. Same place. For, for your, your KCAB, KCAB news. news. Woo! We finished. We finished.